Well, media advocacy groups and practitioners in Zimbabwe have expressed concern over the growing number of attacks on journalists ahead of crucial elections. The country is set to hold presidential and parliamentary elections on the 23rd of August. ENCA correspondent Pindai Dube reports. Just this week alone, three freelance journalists, including a correspondent for Voice of America VOA, were beaten up while on duty at a vegetable market in Ulawayo. It's believed ZANU-PF activists are behind the violence. ZANU-PF supporters uh, just surrounded us and started uh, attacking us, asking us why were we taking uh, video footages and asked us to, to delete the, 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 the footages. And they were also sexually assaulting our, 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 our female colleague Anastasia, you know, you know, touching her body, you know, kicking her. And we wonder why this was happening because we had introduced ourselves as journalists and even produced our press cards. Regional Media Advocacy Group, Media Institute of Southern Africa, MISA, says the increase in attacks on journalists as the election date approaches is worrying. They, they, they were attacked mainly for doing their work, criminalizing their work literally. And the attacks came from the ruling party. Uh, what we have recorded this year is that there are nine cases already that we have recorded, um, including more than... Uh, 18 journalists in total in those cases. The governing party, ZANU-PF, says it respects the work of journalists and that it's happy the affected journalists reported the matter to police. ZANU-PF is the custodian of the freedom of speech and freedom of expression, and we respect the work of the journalists. And as a result, at a time when the president is calling for peace, and the tranquility during and even before elections. We are happy that these journalists took it upon themselves to report to the police. Police say they are investigating the attacks. Pindai Dube, Harare.